here at the Cape Kidnappers Gannet Colony in Hawke's Bay to meet PhD student Stephanie Isma and find out all about her research on these beautiful birds. Steph, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're studying out here? I'm studying the foraging patterns in the Australasian gannets and the breeding phenology. So where do they find their fish? What kind of fish or what kind of prey in general do they take? Um, do they have different tasks? Do they target different species in fishing? And, well, generally, do the males and the females do different things in cooperating to raise the chick? The gannets, I guess, are, are interesting because they're one of the only birds in New Zealand that's actually increasing. Yeah. Do you know why that is? It's with seabirds in general, they benefit from increasing sea surface temperatures, at least short term. So higher sea surface temperatures bring the fish uh, stock closer to the surface and make them more available for seabirds, for diving birds that are after their prey. And obviously with higher temperature, you've also got oxygen loss. So in the long term, it may not actually benefit the birds because you get lower biomass development in marine systems in general. So you're saying that warmer ocean temperatures means less oxygen and eventually less food? Yes. And then of course we've got more climate variability as well, so we've got El Nino events, which are basically large-scale circulation changes in the ocean that lead to starvation periods for birds on a global scale. The cool thing about gannets is they've had airbags much longer than cars have. They have them in their chests and their heads to stop themselves from being knocked out when they dive into the water at speeds of up to 150 kilometres per hour. What are those little things you're putting on the legs of the birds? Those are actually Argus tags, so um, they calculate an approximate latitude and longitude information and store it. And they've got a really long battery life, so it can record data for many months in a go. And you put them out at the end of the breeding season and investigate migration between breeding seasons. So I retrieve that tag when the bird comes back to breed next year and see where it's been from it. So you'll be able to put all that information on a map and see where that bird's been. Yeah, even though they've got approximate accuracy of about 200 kilometers, still for those long distances you can really see where the bird has been, if it's been offshore, if it's been on a migration route or hanging around a certain area fishing or on the coastlines of Australia and then coming back to breeding. What's some of the interesting stuff you're finding out about the fledglings, the ones that are leaving here? So the classical story is that the fledglings go on a virgin flight straight across to Australia when they leave the colony. But we are now playing satellite tags, Argus satellite tags, on the fledglings and sending them out. And we had the first trial go last year and one of the birds actually transmitted all the way down the east coast of New Zealand and sat on Stewart Island. So it had a migration of about 12 days by that stage. And then we lost the signal, so we're going to have another apply this, this year and see if we can actually track their migration and see where it ends up. What is your favourite thing about the gannets? I like the head check and bow display that they demonstrate over and over again, indicating this is their spot. I really like their mutual greeting. The bill fencing is just stunning. And especially in such a territorial bird, because otherwise they are so defensive of their spot and their fights can be so vicious. But when they are pair bonded, they're actually really gentle and they can mutual preen for half an hour in a go, just sit there and preen each other's head feathers on the nest side and be really, really gentle. It's Awesome to see these gannets at such close range and even more exciting to learn that their numbers are on the rise. That's why research like Stephanie's is so crucial for keeping tabs on this growing gannet population.